Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best-selling author, and the only three-time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. Why do so many businesses struggle while others seem to explode overnight? Do you wish you had the secret to this type of exponential growth? Now, I've scaled more than 20 businesses to over $100 million, and it's not just luck. In my new book with Mark Tim, Mentor to Millions, you'll learn the repeatable framework I use in all my business ventures for massive success. Order at KevinMentor.com and get over $1,000 in bonuses. Head to KevinMentor.com. Welcome to another live episode of the Sharkpreneur Podcast. This is your co-host, Seth Green. Today with me are David and Dana Hagstrom from davidanddana.com. David and Dana, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Seth, for inviting us. We are delighted to be here. Indeed. All right. Awesome. So tell the folks watching and listening with us um, who you are and what you do. All right. Well, I'm Dana and this is David. That's pretty obvious, but we are online marketing coaches and we uh, work with the emerging, you know, coach, the Christian coach. Do you want to, do you want to tell yeah. a little bit about sure. what we do? Sure. Sure. We, we help, we coach online marketers and a special sweet spot for us is those that are uh, second career Christian uh, coaches and affiliate marketers, we we love to to work with them to help them uh, develop their business and bring it to a place of being profitable in the marketplace. Awesome! I see the obviously the cross on the wall behind you. You yourself are a second career online marketer. Talk a little bit about how you, your journey, because you you did not take the normal path to online no, marketing. Talk a little bit about your journey. Sure. I was a parish pastor for 35 years and Dana was a paralegal. And I, um, well, just a tiny bit of snippet of my, my story is I, I ended up as a executive pastor um, doing long range planning, strategic planning and coaching staff members in a huge uh, church and then got downsized uh, at 58 and ended up in a small country church where I just didn't fit. And after a few years there, Dana and I looked at each other and I had done some work with the retirement numbers. And I said, you know, we need to keep on working another six, eight years unless we do something radical. And I was sort of half joking here. And I said, like, uh, pick up and move to Mexico. Well, I didn't know he was joking, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, boy. Sweet little, you know, country church was struggling, you know, and it, it we did, we're big city kids fitting in a country church. It just wasn't a good fit. And we're always asking God, why are we here? And so the idea of moving to Mexico, I'm like, let's do it. It just came out of my mouth. I blurted it out. And uh, it took us a few months to do our due diligence, but uh, less than a year, we were we were here in Mexico and sort of looked at each other and said, what now? And we had dabbled with, uh, we had each had a, 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 um, an online store, online store uh, selling things by drop shipping probably 10, uh, 10 12 years ago. So we'd done some network marketing. And yeah. We were blogging. We were blogging our whole, our you know, whole journey to journey. retirement. Yeah. So we, we were learning all along. So we were, yeah, we were, we were blogging. We started doing some affiliate marketing, marketing in addition to the network marketing you had going on. Yep. And then I can still remember a particular night when it, the, the journey changed again. Uh, we were sitting in our hotel room uh, at a conference uh, and met with um, our mentors. He looked at me after going over our, our next 90 day plan and said, okay, uh, you need to be out there coaching yourself. 
boy, I didn't necessarily feel ready to be coaching in this space. Um, but in retrospect, he was right. And what I realized now looking back, all the skills that I had built up in ministry, uh, doing uh, planning and strategy work for, for churches, I was now bringing into uh, our, our business online. And um, the sweet spot for me in ministry had been coaching other staff. So it was just natural to start coaching other people that were in this space. Wow. So that is, again, an absolutely fascinating journey. So talk a little bit, because you have a business coaching others. Talk a little bit about the business that underlies that. Talk about how that business still works um, and like the how you're serving in that business as well. With our coaching, we have products. We have are, we have de designed what we call your pathway to profit. It, it is a it's a course, but it's a curriculum that we use in our coaching as well. It's you know when people marketers are are just getting started, they don't necessarily know where to go, what to do, what to do first. And you know you can do it yourself. You can watch a lot of videos. You can follow a lot of you know gurus and experts out there but they're all gonna have a little different message. And how do you know who to trust and what to do in what order? So by a lot of the trial and error that we've been through, you know, and his strategy brain, you know, we've put these products together. And yeah, we had started with what so many people do of buying this course and buying that course and buying another course and following somebody's advice. And we put little pieces together here and there and we got to the place where, in terms of coaching, we were pretty good at answering people's questions and helping them at whatever area of marketing they wanted to work on. But at some point, it just became clear to us of all these different pieces that we'd done. If we had just started at this point and done them in order and put them together in a way that made sense, uh, we would have accomplished the um, built our business so much faster and we could help others to do the same. We got to the place where we could ask people a series of questions and pretty quickly figure out where they were in the business development process and where they needed to focus their energy. Exactly. And once we did that, we put together our, our own course and, and we are excited to be able to lead people through that because we see them making progress so much more quickly. I love that you did that because if you think about it, I have shell, literally rooms filled wall to wall with bookshelves of hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of products and courses and stuff I've taken over the years. And now people send us their stuff all the time because they wanna be on the show. And I'm like, man, I wish I had time to read this all. I wish I could get someone to go read it for me and distill out what I needed and kind of give me like a book report. So I love that you kind of put like a Cliff Notes version of taking the best from everything and coming up with a step-by-step -step process. Who are the types of folks that you're coaching? Who's an ideal customer or client for you? Well, as I mentioned, the ideal client is a second career Christian coach um, or affiliate marketer that uh, that we can help to to build the framework for their online business and or if they've already got a, a good start we can help them discern what are the next steps and take them the next steps on their journey i love that you make your faith such an integral part of that it just shines through so what how are you identifying so second career christian folks who are in this space um how are you attracting those folks to you now well, I'll have to be honest here. We have just decided to focus on that particular niche. We have up to this point uh, just said coaches and affiliate marketers, and we have decided that we want to um, focus in more. We'll st we're still happy to work with, with anybody in that space, but a particular sweet spot and and the people we tend to attract and it's probably just by uh who we are are those that are second career and that share our faith right awesome well congratulations on making that decision obviously 
further refining that target market is going to help you because if you market specifically to that niche and share that story of your transition, you will attract more folks than you can handle, which is the number one problem you want to get. What exactly. are, for the folks that you're working with now, what are you finding are some of the biggest mistakes that they're making or the challenges that they're having that you're helping them get through? There are three pieces that we tend to find. Uh, one is that um, as they've been building their business, they're missing a particular piece that we can help them identify and, and put in place. The second thing is that they're often doing things in the wrong order. For example, they're working on ads or they're working on social media, um, a attracting customers on social media, and they don't know yet um, who exactly they're serving. And we want to get you know, clear on the foundation elements before we get to the more advanced elements. So we we make sure that they've got those in place. We we want to make sure they have a clear vision for their business, that they know exactly what problem they solve for someone else, that they can identify clearly uh, their target market, and that they know exactly how they're going to monetize their business. And we may spend a while on those things before we get to the quote, exciting stuff later. Stuff. And we <laughs> Absolutely. Also Paul says, of... David and Dana, great story. Cool to see that it all starts when you stop learning and start contributing and teaching others. I think that is so important because a lot of times people get trapped in paralysis analysis. They want to keep learning. They want to have it all figured out before they yeah. move forward. And, you know, the universe has to fill a vacuum and they don't create the vacuum because they never get started. So I love that you took that leap. And I find that by teaching, we learn more than twice. You know, I love exactly. teaching stuff that I've learned because it makes me rethink it and relearn it at a different level when we get to share it with others. So what are... Um, you mentioned building the foundation first before they get to the sexy part. So you're right. literally giving them, you know, what they need so that you can then deliver what they want. What are, what is the change that you want to see in the world? What impact are you trying to have by sharing what you are? Cause I know you're so purpose driven. I feel called. I feel like God has given me the ability to, to cheer people on. And so how we want to, or how I at least want to make a difference is I want to walk alongside people that maybe not know exactly how they're going to, uh, uh, you know, affect the world and impact the world and give them the tools and give them the encouragement to, to do that, to help them find that gold mine inside so that they can, they can make a bigger impact on the world. And so that's, that's why we're here. Yeah, and I'm really a teacher at heart. And so as I walk with people through uh, testing the foundation for their business, and then our second stage is building their pipeline for profit, and our third stage, re releasing the flow of leads and cash. As, as I walk through each of those with people and can see the aha moments and see them begin to have success, that just lights me up. Absolutely. What are, uh, you're giving advice every day, you're counseling and coaching people. What's the best advice you ever got? To be consistent, I think, is, you know, find something that you can do over and over and over. And this isn't just in business. I mean, I think back to when we were in, in an exercise club together, in a kickboxing club. And, you know, they, they had us eating these special foods and eating at certain times of the day. And the big thing they taught us, and I carry this over into other aspects of our life and our business is, can you, can you sustain this? Can you do this over and over and over, a rinse and repeat? For years and years. For years and years. And so that's what it's all about, is that consistency. Finding something that you can resonate with, that you get so excited about, that you can do over and over and over again. And so that's what I like to help people do, is to find what is it that makes it authentic for them, so they don't have to be who they're not. You know, when we were first getting started, I was always trying to be like someone else. And... Um, 
there was another nugget of, of truth. Don't try to be like someone else. You can't do it. You don't know how to do it, but you do know how to be yourself. And so that kind of goes in line with be consistent, be consistently you. Yeah, that's, oh, go ahead. Sorry, David. One of the big pieces of advice we got early on from, it seemed like everybody and their brother was that we needed to focus on uh, developing our mindset. And honestly, at the beginning, we thought, well, what's all that all, that all about? We've got a good positive mindset. We don't need to worry about that. And the farther we got in our journey, the more we realized we needed to go back and focus on developing our own mindset. And um, there's a lot of aspects to the, to that. And there's some, you know, a lot of great teachers out there about that. We do some teaching on that ourselves, but basically, you know, the attitude and energy you bring to, to life, you're going to, you're going to see reflected in your, uh, what you results you see. So if you can approach each day with gratitude and are excited to get out of bed and, and get, get to work, um, you, you're going to see some fruit from that. Absolutely. Ken, I know that you have never stopped learning what are some of the most influential books from your life and your career other than the Bible, which I know you would name first? Oh, dear. <laughs> he took it. Well, you really like that series by Russell Brunson. Oh, yeah. he's, yeah. he's His uh, Secrets trilogy is excellent. And there are a lot of excellent uh, books out there um, in, in the business world. I've been reading some by Michael McCallowicz, uh recently that I, I've really enjoyed. I think what's been a real life changer for me is how how can't say it how Elrod's book The Morning Miracle or The Miracle Morning and employing those tactics into my life. So Yeah, absolutely. Mike McCallowitz has been on the show, um friend of the show, love book, Profit First, What Heck, Fix This Next. Those are all great books. Um we have the Click Funnels trilogy. Russell's obviously been a friend of the show and been on several times and the um, yes, all, all great recommendations. What advice would you give to that second career Christian who is looking to get out of his corporate America rat race? He doesn't want the cubicle anymore. He wants to go do something that is more meaningful in his life. Where do you start? Well, I would say um, get in touch with us and let's talk. Yes. And, and see, you know, what are the, what are the sweet spots in, in their life? And what are the skills that they bring? And uh, how would they how would they really enjoy, um, you know, bringing themselves to the marketplace? We awesome. have a series of questions that we can ask them to just to kind of dig inside things they've not maybe not thought of before. You know, we can shed some light, help them uncover that, that gold mine inside. Yeah, so many people reach the point that I was my late fifties and find themselves needing to make some kind of change and say, well, I don't really know what I could do other than what I've always done. And the fact is that over, over a career, they have developed so many skills and so many strengths. It's just a matter of identifying them and channeling them into a, a new, new direction. That is a great recommendation. What, for our folks who are watching and listening and wanna learn more about your process, where is the best place for us to send them? To our website, davidndana.com. That's David, the letter N, Dana.com. And uh, right away, they'll, they'll see an offer for our solution framework, which will help them to find leads. Uh, that's a great way to uh, get to know us. Or they can go down to the bottom of the page, look at our blog. There's contact information there as well. Awesome. What else? I know you're incredibly, your time's incredibly valuable. What else do you want to share with our audience that I didn't think to ask you? Well, as part of our, this new branding, um, we are going to be promoting or focusing a little bit more on my books. I have th four published books now. We just published the fourth. Um, I do a devotional series where I'm doing Bible. I walk through the Bible. It's my reflection. So it's not an in-depth commentary or anything like that, but I did it for people who are, are busy and, and want to connect with God and, and want to read the Bible, but 
maybe don't know where to start. And so I not only have these books published, but that's a result of, of a blog I've been writing for the last, I don't know, is it four years now? Every day, a daily blog. So that's another way you can get to know me. I just pour myself out. I can, yeah, we can feel that coming through. That's absolutely incredible that you turn that. that I mean, that's a whole separate business right there yeah. um, that we could have a whole separate conversation about. Um, thank you so much for joining us. This has been Seth Green for Sharkpreneur with David and Dana Hegstrom. Make sure you check out davidanddana.com. David and Dana, thanks again for joining us. Thank you thank so much, you, Seth. Thanks everybody for watching or listening and we'll see you next time. Do you need money to fund your idea, product or service? Are you ready to take your business to the next level but need capital to get it done? Kevin Harrington has heard more than 50,000 pitches and knows how to help you make the perfect pitch to get the funding for your entrepreneurial dream. He's distilled the process down in his perfect pitch cheat sheet and it's yours for free. Just text PITCH to him right now at 727-888-2100. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 right now and claim your free perfect pitch cheat sheet. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 to start funding your dream today. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.